Hello guys, how are you doing? Thank you for clicking on this video. I do feel very special now because I have just over 2,000 subscribers who would regularly come back to Handy Radio channel and click and watch and give me some lovely feedback and comments. So guys, without you, I wouldn't be here today, so thank you very much. Moving on to today's topic. It's a very controversial one and, and it's about the Nagoya brand of antennas. Thanks to those rubbish stock rubber duck antennas it has created a big demand for these aftermarket ones but one of the biggest questions I get asked and a lot of people check is is this a fake antenna or is it a real genuine one so let's have a look at a few examples today we'll stick to the end and we'll find out what's happening with these antennas some people claim they can tell if this is a genuine antenna by looking at the packaging I don't know how people can do that but some say you should have a hologram and showing Nagoya brands over there like that one but as you can see there's nothing on this one now can you say this is a fake right so this one has got the blue painted Nagoya NA701 with the frequency printed just underneath this is the SMA female version here we have an example number two this is uh, the model Nagoya NA7 seven four this one has got the silver on black sticker on the base of the antenna and this one is an SMA male version the most popular model within the Nagoya range has to be the NA771 this is about um, 40 about 40 centimeters long and it's in this usually in this orange type of packaging some people have seen yellow ones and indeed just behind we have a green one people have claimed a lot of these have really um, high SWRs when they put you through the um, analyzer how can you tell which one is a real which one is a fake this one has the blue printed um, logo on the bottom of the antenna same SMA female and part of my latest batch of antennas from my Chinese suppliers here is the male version of the NA771 the packaging has changed slightly not just the color but now it's featuring the writing such as made in Taiwan now I have paid the same price for these antennas so this one has got all English writing on the packaging whereas the other one, the earlier version or the orange ones have got Chinese writing there it says 双段, 手持天线, which means well, dual band flexible handheld antenna this time the QR code has been printed on the bags rather than a sticker is this the clue to indicate which one is genuine which one is fake so how about if you guys leave a comment under this video and to tell me what do you think or which one do you think is a fake Nagoya antenna so just go through you can tell me this is a NA771 SMA female the longer version that bends and it's got a spring inside you can bend it all the way around so that's one of them and the other one is a Nagoya NA774 this is the male version and it's got a hinge and it's extendable one of these telescopic style this one is the NA701 SMA female and here in the new bag I haven't got this one out but this is the same it's a SMA male but it's a 771 so leave your answers in the comment and uh, I will be replying to you guys in the next video Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.